He's the leader of our police service, appointed by a government which has recently hardened its stance to rid Queensland of its ice epidemic. But now in a rare interview, Ian Stewart has revealed the battlefield is shifting and our police officers are paying the price. Are we losing this battle? Um, it's, a really, it's a really good question. It's destructive. <laughs> Deadly. Ah! And for the first time, Queensland's police commissioner has conceded it's out of control. Smugglers are flooding our state with ice in waves that are getting bigger. We're certainly only probably stopping a small amount in comparison to the, the number of loads of ice that are coming through our borders. Whether it's one in five, one in ten, one in twenty, doesn't really matter. We know that we miss an awful lot simply because of the sheer volume that comes through. Smugglers are taking incredible risks to bring the drug in because the rewards are so great. Criminals just see this as a business. This is a money-making venture. But there'll always be those who'll come in and take their place because it's a lucrative business. We're talking millions and millions of dollars involved right, right across that supply chain. The Queensland Government has now begun a series of community ice summits across the state. New South Wales got the ball rolling two years ago. Have we been dragging our feet on ice? Um, no, I don't think so. doesn't matter how much work we do. This is a social issue. The street price of ice is getting cheaper. It's more accessible and it's taking its toll on police officers who face it and its dangers every day. And sadly we see those who don't survive it. Young people who die because they overdose or they, or they take some ridiculous risk while they're using drugs. They, you know, that they think that they can walk on a balcony edge 12 12 floors up and they can't and they die. Uh, we get some police who, who just, who can't actually cope with that level of stress and they make decisions to leave the organisation. And how close has it come to you in your life? Um, look, friends, children, um, is probably as close as it's come. Usage rates are rising. ICE's stranglehold on Queensland is tightening. We've got the greatest state and the greatest country in the world. Um, I don't want to ever see that damage by drug addiction. Rob Morrison, Nine News.